Malaysia will do more in advancing the green growth agenda in order to combat climate change. These include first setting higher standards of environmental governance where boards of directors are well informed and ready to engage in managing the issue of climate risk. This will enhance the viability of businesses and reward those that are forward looking and climate resilient, especially businesses that have identified opportunities in the green economy. Second, sustainable energy transition with greater deployment of renewable energy, generation capacity and efficient final energy consumption. To begin with, I would like to support a more ambitious target of 30% renewable energy installed capacity by the year 2025 for the power sector. This is vital to enable the power sector to cater for the shift from a demand-driven to a diverse electricity supply industry. Third, economy-wide adoption of the circular economy as well as sustainable consumption and production for more sustainable and responsible businesses and investments. This represents a systemic shift that builds long-term resilience, generates sustainable businesses and economic opportunities, as well as provides environmental and societal benefits. Fourth, to maintain this 50% of our land area under forest cover, in this regard, the government will support the states in, in their forest management and biodiversity conservation efforts, as this is, important, this, this is an important national asset, which provides valuable ecosystem services to all and fifth, billions of dollars of investment will be needed to shift towards a greener nation. As such, domestic green financing will be scaled up to support socio-economic development that is clean, green and resilient. The public and private sector as well as financial institutions play key roles in this matter. Hence, it is imperative to chart clear milestones and accountability of stakeholders to ensure realignment of investment that supports the green growth agenda.